Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're all keeping well out there. I'm Porter Tech Giant, and tonight I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide how we transfer games from one PlayStation 5 to another. So let's first take a look at how many gig that we've got to move over. So first off, let's go to settings and then storage. And as we can see, games and apps, console storage is 432.9 gig. So coming out of storage, we're going to head to system and then down to backup and restore. Now in here you will see backup your PS5, backup games, apps and data in console storage to a USB drive. Now to move my files over, what I've done, I've purchased a brand new Samsung portable SSD. This is the T5 one terabyte version. As you can see, it's all sealed. There we go. So it looks like we've got, what's that? USB-C to USB-C. So I've plugged in the SSD, let's press on back up your PS5. There we go, it's, so it does seem to have recognized it via the USB-C, which is great news. And it's also given me the options of what I want to transfer over. So it's ticked for games and apps, save data, and screenshots and video clips. Don't need the screenshots and video clips, but the save data and games and apps I will be transferring over. So. That's all selected, which is 438.4 gig, and let's press on next. Now the PlayStation is turned off and on again. It does say backing up. Do not turn off your PS5. Well, that's looking a little bit more promising, giving it a bit of time to settle down, and now it's saying only 76 minutes. And there we go, backup complete. Your PS5 will restart. Now that everything's copied off, and because I'm going from one PlayStation to another, what I need to do is to go into settings, down to users and accounts, then down to other, then console sharing and offline play. So at this moment in time, we can see console sharing and offline play is enabled for you on this PS5. So because I'm swapping over to that other PS5, I'm gonna disable this one. What I've also done is gone ahead and signed out of my PlayStation account. So we're now just going to power off the PS5 and unplug the SSD. Right, let's power on this PS5 for the first time. Rightio, the PlayStation 5 is all now set up. So now what we need to do is put those games from the external SSD onto the new PlayStation 5. So let's go into settings, down to system, and then down to backup and restore. So now that external SSD is all connected up, let's press on restore your PS5. Now it says your PS5 will be restored with the backup data you selected. When you start restoring, your PS5 will be reset to factory defaults and all users and all data will be deleted. After that, your PS5 will be restored using the backup data. So let's click on restore. Now it says your PS5 will be restored. After restoration starts, your PS5 won't return to the current state. Are you sure you want to continue? Now we're going to click on yes. There we go. It's now restoring. It says it's going to take approximately four hours. So yeah, quite a long time. Right, so it's a few hours later and let's see if it's worked. And there we go. Sure enough, there are the games. So that is its success. Well, there you go, my kids are certainly gonna be happy that I've transferred over their games. And if you're happy with this video today, do us a favor, reach up and hit that thumbs up button. Really does help the channel out. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, then please make sure you subscribe. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.